What's going on guys? Welcome back to Football Collectibles, Sam Coast here again on the YouTube channel with Simon and we are today back with the final round of group games from Euro 2020 Predictor using the Panini Euro 2020 Tournament Edition stickers. Uh, if you've not seen these videos, go back check out the previous two. The final round of group games as predicted using the sticker packs you can see on the screen there. So without further ado, let's jump into this final round of games. All right, guys, so we're here. Final round of group games already. Absolutely loving the tournament, obviously, in real life. This is obviously a bit of fun, bit of a predictor, simulator, whatever you want to call it. Um, so a few permutations from today's fixtures, obviously, in this simulator. Uh, a couple of teams are already through. I'll chuck up the groups uh, before the games uh, on screen now so you can just see uh, who's where and everything like that. And then, obviously, at the end... Um, I'll chuck up the groups again with who's qualified uh, and who's going to play who uh, in the first knockout round. So fixtures for today. So Group A, Switzerland, Turkey, Italy, Wales. Group B, Russia, Denmark, Finland, Belgium. Group C, North Macedonia and the Netherlands, or Holland as I've called them. Ukraine and Austria. Uh, group D, uh, Croatia, Scotland, England, Czech Republic. Group E, Sweden and Poland, Slovakia and Spain and Group F, Portugal, France, Germany and Hungary. So some big games. Um, so if you've not seen these, three packs for the first half, three packs for the second half. Any sticker from that national national team is an imaginary goal. Let's jump into these. So we'll start with the first half. So some big games, some big teams could potentially go through. Uh, from memory, Finland have already qualified. Random team of Finland there. So first packet, and it is an early goal for Spain. So Spain away, at, well not away, but playing Slovakia. Um, and an early goal here for the Ukraine. So where are the Ukraine? Ukraine are playing, where are they? Playing at home uh, uh, to Austria. So an early lead for Ukraine there, 1-0 for them. Another goal for Spain and it's Une Simon. Uh, so they're 2-0 up against Slovakia. And a goal for Scotland against Croatia. Massive goal for Scotland there against Croatia, making it 1-0. Uh, and a goal for the Czech Republic against England. Let's hope that doesn't happen in real life. So, early goals in three, four of the games there then. That's not a good start for England, as I said. So, into the second pack. Hopefully England can pull a game back, a goal back, sorry. So, Hungary. Where are Hungary? Hungary are away. They're playing against Germany. And a goal for Hungary against Germany there. Croatia pull one back against Scotland. So, that's one all. And Germany there. So they pull one back against Hungary. Uh, another goal for Spain, Gerard Moreno. So they're 3-0 up against Slovakia in the first half. And a goal for Sweden. So Sweden take the lead against Poland in the first half there. So this is going to make very interesting viewing for these final group stages. And seeing who's going to finish where. Uh, so we've got another goal for the Ukraine. So Ukraine uh, take a 2-0 lead uh, against Austria. And another quick fire double there. Uh, Kovalenko makes it 3-0 to, to Ukraine in the first half against Austria. And Aaron Ramsey puts the Welsh 1-0 up against Italy there. Finland, they take a, a surprising lead against Belgium. Uh, and North Macedonia, uh, Elif Elmas makes it 1-0 North Macedonia versus Holland. So, an interesting first half there. So Sweden, Switzerland, Turkey's 0-0. Wales are beating Italy. That's probably the shock of the round so far. Finland leading at Belgium. North Macedonia leading at Holland. Again, surprising fixtures there. And Ukraine 3-0 up against Austria. Croatia and Scotland are one all. Czech Republic are beating England. That's not good. Sweden are beating Poland. Spain are winning 3-0 uh, uh, against Slovakia. Portugal and France in 0-0. Germany and Hungary is level at 1-1. So we go into the second half packs. So fingers crossed England can at least... Well, we want two stickers really and no Czech Republic stickers really. So we start off with a goal for Denmark. So Denmark, where are they playing? They're against Russia, so taking a lead against Denmark. And a quick fire double. So a quick 2-0 uh, there against Russia now. A goal for the Czech Republic again. That is not good. That is two goals to the Czech Republic now against England. It's not looking good now. Uh, John McGinn makes it 2-0 for Scotland against Croatia. Uh, and Manuela Kanji for Switzerland. Uh, where is Switzerland playing? Where are they? 
Switzerland against Turkey. So a 1-0 lead for Switzerland against Turkey there. So that is going to make Group A quite interesting, definitely. So we're still holding out for an England sticker, definitely. Uh, France, they take the lead against Portugal. Obviously France, main favourites really for the tournament, obviously doing really well. Uh, Switzerland again, so they double their lead against Turkey, 2-0. Another goal for Finland against Belgium. So that's 2 0 to Finland. I think that's going to be them win every single game in their group stages. That's unbelievable. Uh, Turkey pull one back against Switzerland, makes it 2 1. Uh, and Hungary take a shock lead against Germany. So that's 2 1 Hungary against Germany there. Final packet then of this group stages. Come on, England. Let's have a, uh, a sticker. Because I think if they don't get one, um, they're not qualifying. But here we go. The, the fun of this, how crazy. Uh, but it, it's probably going to come true, to be fair. Uh, Sweden, so Sweden take a 2-0 lead against uh, Poland there. Uh, there's a German team, so they pull a goal back. So that's 2-2 against Hungary. Um, Slovakia there, so they take a pull a goal back against Spain. Well, there we go, Ben Chilwell for England makes it 2-1, but it's not enough. Uh, and Belgium score a last-minute consolation goal as well. So there we have it. That is the end of the group stages. We'll quickly go through the results then. Uh, so Switzerland beat Turkey 2-1. Uh, Wales went out 1-0 winners against Italy. Uh, Denmark 2-0 against Russia. Finland 2, Belgium 1, North Macedonia 1, Holland 0. Uh, Ukraine 3, Austria 0. Croatia 1, Scotland 2. England 1, Czech Republic 2. Not a good result for England. Uh, Sweden 2, Poland 0, Slovakia uh, 1, Spain 3, Portugal 0, France 1 and Germany 2, Hungary 2. So that is it. That is the group stages complete. Um, I'll get the groups all sorted. We'll come back uh, and we'll see what the final group stages were and who is playing who in the first round of knockout games. Okay, so groups as they finish. So we'll start off with Group A. Wales have finished top of the group with 7 points. Italy take second spot with six points and Switzerland qualify with four points as one of the best third place finishers uh, from Group A but unfortunately Turkey uh, miss out after losing all of their games. So Group B, Belgium and Finland both qualify on six points. Denmark finish third with three points uh, but sadly miss out on that uh, third place spot and Russia go out with three points as well. Uh, group C, uh, the Ukraine and the Netherlands both finish on six points with the Ukraine finishing first, uh, but obviously both qualify there. North Macedonia come in, in third place with three points, but miss out on qualification as a best third place qualifier. Uh, and Group D, Czech Republic and England. So Czech Republic takes top spot of that group with seven points. England finish on four points. Scotland finish on four points. And so do qualify as a one of the best third place runners up. Uh, so that's better than obviously Scotland did in the main tournament. And Croatia crash out with only one point from their three games. So the runners up from the World Cup crash out at the group stages uh, in this one. Uh, so we move on to the next group. So Sweden finish top with seven points. Spain finish second with five. And Slovakia finish in third, uh, but do not qualify, unfortunately, as a uh, one of the best third place playoff winners. Uh, they finish on three points and Poland finish rock bottom with one point from their three games. And last but not least, uh, we move to the group of Def and France win that group with seven points. Germany finish second with four points and Portugal uh, finish third with three points uh, and they do qualify. The only reason they qualify is they scored more goals uh, than Denmark um, and Hungary finish in fourth place on two points and do not qualify. So some big names going through into the next round. Be interested to see how those fixtures uh, marry up or get those squared away. And we'll show you the fixtures for the uh, round of 16. So after working out then all the teams that have gone through to the round of 16, here are the fixtures for the next round of the Euro 2020 predictions using the Panini 2020 Tournament Edition stickers. Uh, so it's going to be Belgium versus Scotland, Wales versus Netherlands, France versus Denmark, England versus Spain. So difficult games for the home nations there. 
and we're going to have Sweden versus Switzerland, Czech Republic versus Germany, Ukraine versus Portugal, and Italy versus Finland. So some difficult games there for the last round for the round of sixteen. Uh, who is going to qualify for the quarterfinals, guys? Don't forget to let me know in the comments who you think will go through from those difficult games. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this video. Again, thanks for taking time out of your day for watching the content, as always, on Football Collectible South Coast. Really appreciate the support, even when views are low at the minute, as they are. Uh, don't forget to come back for the, uh, the first round of the 60, round of 16 games, which I'll hopefully upload uh, on Saturday. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. But until the next one, Cheers.